we are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. We are in Yishun. We were told that it is um, a little bit sketchy out here, a bit shady, that the people aren't very friendly, that there's lots of crime. Yeah, you read things like, if you Google why is Yishun, it comes up with why is Yishun cursed, bad, like the hood, all things like that. So um, we thought we would come along to Yishun, we're meeting our friend Delini that lives here and she's going to show us around a little bit and we're going to see what it's really like from a local's perspective. The scary neighbourhood of Singapore apparently. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I don't buy it to be honest, but we're going to find out today. <laughs> Let's go and explore. <laughs> this is Delini who's going to be showing us around. You live here. I do live here, I just moved here about three weeks ago. Enjoying so. it? Loving it. Nothing the best. spooky happening in the house? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to um, one of Delini's favourite like old biscuit shops. Um, we're going to go back in time and have a little look there. So I think we're going down? This way, yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. We just got down to the bottom of the first uh, escalator and there's a sign here for three-in-one buffet, unlimited, for hot pot. So as far as I'm concerned, he shouldn't already wins. <laughs> This shopping mall isn't new, um, but apparently it's been extended and there's loads of new places. There's lots of different shops and food places that I have never seen before. And often when you go to shopping mall to shopping mall, you find that they all kind of have a similar thing in them. But this one's got lots of things that um, I haven't seen in it before, which is quite nice. Um, it's quite nice and airy in here, bright. Loads of restaurants, as always, homeware shops and things like that. So I'm enjoying wandering around um, somewhere that's got something different to look up to. When we were about to set out, it was raining and thundering, but uh, thankfully it has stopped now, which is nice. It feels really thick, the heat today. I feel like I'm swimming through the heat, uh, <laughs> but we're going to walk outside. Um, we could have taken a bus, but we've decided to walk so that we can see a little bit more around the area. Um, yeah, and it's just nice to take a walk sometimes too. Although Aspen's saying, I don't like walking. There is a 10 minute walk and I do not like walking. I want to take a bus. Fun fact of Yishun! <laughs> this little, well this big mall used to be the biggest cinema in Asia in about 1992. And so that was the claim to fame that Yishun had ages ago. <laughs> but it's no longer the biggest cinema unfortunately, but mm. it's still the best. One of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. We've not gone too far yet. However, I could tell you that so far, there's nothing that makes me feel unsafe or that this isn't a nice place. Uh, walking through that mall was really nice. Ceilings were lower, everything felt a bit cosier, which was really, really nice. It didn't have that big, expansive, massive Singapore vibe. Um, it felt a lot more local, which was really you know, slightly different, but very, very nice. Uh, we're now kind of at an intersection um, and everything looks very nice and open, despite the slightly overcast clouds today. Everything feels lovely. I mean, look at this. There's a train station behind me. Some apartments here. Pretty cool. Um, so, we don't know. We're going to keep wandering around and exploring. But to start with, it all feels pretty good to me. It's the first sign of this being the hood, guys. I think I've just found a blood trail on the floor. Let's check it out. Oh, no. <laughs> Another fun fact about Yishun is that um, many, many years ago, it used to be famous for um, pineapple plantations. But uh, obviously that has since gone. Um, and now there's all these bright and colorful HDB uh, blocks around us as we're walking along. There's a really nice wide, um, like, what do they call them? Oh, my brain stopped working. Like, the park connectors. <laughs> there's really nice wide park connectors here. Um, I find a lot of the newer ones are a lot wider, which is great, because then you don't have to try and compete with cyclists. Um, as we cycle, we love cycling, so I guess maybe we're competing with pedestrians instead. So, yeah, keeps it nice and safe when you want to get around, and it's covered, which is great. A couple of streets down is a police station, and Delini was just saying that um, Yishun um, area, the police station, had the most number of cases recorded in a year, which I think kind of 
added to the whole Yushun's bad and um, a high crime area, things like that. But crime is also so low everywhere else in Singapore. I wonder if that kind of plays a part in it. Um, I have looked up online and there are some quite interesting headlines um, in the news. We'll share a few of those with you later, uh, but we're going to keep on walking and find this shop. Ooh, Junction 9. Look at that. I know Junction 8 in uh, Bishan, but this one's got Junction 9. We are now inside Junction 9. Nice to be back in the AC. I've noticed as we're going around, there's a lot more of those electric um, ride on bikes and electric um, mopeds around here. You kind of have to keep your wits about you, but some of them have really loud music on, so you can uh, move out of the way because you can hear the music blasting out um, <laughs> as they're coming, zipping along, which is funny. But um, ah, we're here already. So we've been to um, another, I guess, like a, a, a traditional sweet confectionery store uh, in the Upper Thompson area and um, that had all these tubs which is really really cool um, we um, our school recently had an international fiesta and there was a whole Singaporean group and the Singaporean group had a load of these tins out so I guess they would see that as something that was quintessentially Singaporean I know it's something that makes my parents very nostalgic um, and uh, we have now started to try to whenever we find these uh, tins selling uh, cookies and stuff inside. We've always tried to buy them to kind of like, I guess try to create that nostalgia. Maybe it's just part of me feeling like I missed out when I was a kid. Um, and so I'm gonna try and do that uh, as an adult and try to um, try to relive what I didn't get to live the first time around. <laughs> we found, there's a Batman jelly candy. They taste like, they're the texture's like a marshmallow and jelly at the same time. They're so good. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Rainbow love letters. Best quality. Oh. The fishy star things. I remember oh. eating these. So many. Oh, do you, know, do you ever try these? What do we got? So these are like wafer biscuits. They taste like nothing, but they also taste <laughs> like childhood. <laughs> they're so Tastes good. Taste like childhood. Yeah, but well, they're rainbow colored. We yeah. need we need to try childhood. Yeah, we need to try childhood. So um, they don't even have a name on them. Tapioca flour, coconut, egg. Okay. Circles. There we go. Circles. <laughs> Childhood circles. We're going to get some of these. What else did you used to have? We last went to somewhere like this. Um, we went actually to try and find some of the snacks that Jonty's dad had had when he was a kid. Um, so it's nice to kind of be here to go. Yeah, around Upper Thompson. Um, I just told it was, everyone about it. Oh, Jonty just told you. Okay, ignore me. <laughs> Yeah, Delaney ate these in our childhood, right? You ate these. I did have those when I was a kid. We used to have these as well as a kid. We used to like lick them into a really sharp point and then like poke our friends with them. <laughs> I'm glad you don't do that anymore, right? Well, we might. <laughs> <laughs> Durian popcorn, Aspen. Good over here. I'm just trying to stop myself from buying the pack and just eating it now. <laughs> trying to be a bit healthier. Not that it's unhealthy, I guess, but I just don't want to overeat. I think we're going for dinner in a bit. Perfect bowl. Maybe they're much softer too. These like the roundest dragon fruits I've ever seen. I wonder if they're like purple or white inside. my favorite things in Singapore uh, is the public transport and then it means we can get anywhere so we are gonna go and hop on a bus the 811 I think and um, we're gonna head for one of Delini's favorite walks and um, sent me a picture she came here and saw the sunrise we are a little bit either late for sunrise or early for sunset but we're gonna go and take a walk around while it's still nice and dry so we're just gonna wait for our bus and then uh, we'll probably try some of these snacks too check the mic and make sure it sound right boys Having just spent, uh, I think, 11 stops on the bus, which is really, really nice, I have spotted something that I had never spotted having not been here before, which is that there are so many things called Nisun. Nisun East, Nisun Central. Here we are in Nisun. Welcome to Nisun. 
I thought we were in Yishun, but Millie Googled it and could tell you more about it now. So the guy that started the pineapple plantations I told you about, that was his name, Nisun. Um, but it uh, has became Yishun um, because of changing it um, to Chinese pinion, I believe. Why? <laughs> listen to Delini instead. <laughs> Don't listen to her. <laughs> it's because <laughs> Singapore started the Speak Mandarin Well campaign, and so Why? they changed Ni Soon to Yi Shun because that was Why? the Mandarin way of saying Ni, Ni Soon. Yeah. Why? There you go. Because. So we are now in Ni Soon South Zone DRC, and um, on the 11 stops, I also noticed that lots of the buildings around here are a lot lower. Um, some places that you go around there's lots and lots of tall buildings but this one seems to have lots of lower buildings again brightly coloured um, HDB blocks but lots of the buildings seem to be smaller and some of the shops as well um, it might just be the little area we're into now but yeah something I've spotted that's a little bit different so we sometimes talk about walking around different areas feel different like walking around East Coast Park feels different Walking around Chong Baru feels different. Um, does this one feel different for you? Do you feel like unsafe? How like the websites kind of suggest it could be? I don't feel unsafe at all. In fact, I feel pretty chill. Um, everyone's pretty relaxed here. Everyone seems pretty friendly. Um, so I don't know the reasons for it yet. I don't feel that it's particularly different. Um, it definitely has a bit more of a local vibe. I think I said that earlier but um, definitely not like unsafe. I've just realized we've been to here before when we did our round island route, we stopped off at Orchard Country Club, um, which is just next door and we cycled through here, but we didn't really get a lot of a chance to stop and look at it as we kind of needed to keep up the pace to get to um, the hotel to check in so that we can complete the round island route on time. So I am so glad that we're here now to come and have a look at it. Uh, what a lovely view, really nice. It's the first gang we've seen in Yishu. <laughs> uh, this is the Salita Reservoir and behind me you can just about see a golf course. We have stayed there at the Orchid Country Club a couple of times actually. Once was just while we were cycling around the whole island. It was our second night stay and we cycled here from the Jewel with the kids when Aspen and Milo are seven and eight years old. Sorry, six and eight years old. Um, and it was a wonderful little trip. But we are now here at the Salita Reservoir and we're just gonna take everything in and just enjoy nature for a little bit. We've just seen the otters. Apparently there's like otter gangs that try to take over different uh, areas, but I guess this must be the Yushin gangs. <laughs> Anyone have a snack and still Is there a better flavour? I have pink. They're all the same. <laughs> I have pink. I have pink. I'm going for... Don't take orange. Orange? Ew. What does it remind you of? Giant communion <laughs> wafer. Oh. Can I? Can I? And they Thank remind you. me I? of... Um, the, the, the feel of them at the moment remind me of those UFO sweets you got in the UK. Oh yeah, with the shirt. giant ones. ones. Yeah, just giant communion. <laughs> mm, communion. What a coconut smell to them. Oh, yeah. Just like disappear. Good nice, coconutty. Where are the now? Doesn't smell like it. Eat it. Can I have one? For some reason, it seems it's better than I thought they were. I love durian, but it doesn't, it has a durian taste, but it doesn't have the fresh fruitiness to it. So that's a bit of a shame. And packets to open here are much harder than the UK because they're often like got like foil inside them and then often quite plasticky, I guess, because of the humidity to keep everything fresh. And like in the UK, you can just like pinch the top and pull it open. But here you kind of have to rip down the side to get into your snack, which sometimes if you're really hungry, it's like really frustrating. Yeah. Here's, we also got some popping candy. because That's just fun. And I remember eating that as a kid as well. Mm. They taste a bit like barley, like lemon barley. So sour. Mm. Yeah, but they're more soft. They're softer yeah. than I remember. Yeah. Mm? Yeah, the ones I remember having were like white and like mm -hmm. chalky. 
kind yeah. of thing. These ones are sweet and I've got sensitive teeth so I think <laughs> I'm, um, I'm gonna leave these ones for now <laughs> and, um, and we're gonna walk out um, over on the little pier or the, the jet a bit now. One of the things that I'm noticing uh, over here is that everything is super well looked after. Now for us in the UK we probably would have thought mm, okay um, somewhere that's dirty or not well looked after is probably somewhere that might be a bit dodgy like I remember doing a big litter clear out from a kids playground we found syringes um, and it wasn't a very nice playground it's not somewhere you'd really want to take your kids whereas here everything's super clean there's no litter anywhere it's not like anything's been neglected and so it doesn't have an unsafe unlooked after a devalued sort of vibe to it it feels beautiful and full of nature and well looked after and well valued and i think that is just reflected in the way that we are enjoying ourselves uh, in this area today as well the reservoir you see behind me hasn't always been like this. The Salital River used to flow through here and only up until the 1980s, but if you go back in time to 1847, um, British people found a Chinese settlement over here of people who are just living on the riverfront. Um, they called them the Orang Salita, who are like the men of the Salital River essentially, Orang Utan. I think Orang means man. Can, can correct me if I'm wrong but um, they discovered them here in 1847 um, and like I said in 1986 so it's not very long ago at all uh, they started to be able to, to create this into one of the reservoirs I know that Singapore is hoping that by 2060 um, it will be completely water self-sufficient um, and this is one of the reservoirs that feeds into the system for everybody in the on, on the island This is such a nice spot. We're just kind of standing here, enjoying watching the sky, the sun, colors changing. See people playing golf in front of us. We saw a large gull fly over the water and then go and land. This is such a really lovely spot just to come and sit and chill and be, even though the road's right behind us, you can kind of tune out to all of that and just enjoy uh, all of this nature that's around here. Really nice spot. So glad we came here today. There are hundreds, hundreds of these tiny, <laughs> tiny little flies and they're all like mouth height. It's like a little water play area here, which is quite sweet. So the kids played in the water for a while. Um, water. water, water. Oh no! Oh, you went wet. The kids played no. in the water for a little while, and we're now gonna head and get some food. I've got no idea where we're going. Lini, where are we going? We are going. Where are we going? We're going to eat. Lunch. Oh, we're going to eat. We're going to the Ishun Hawker Park Center. Ishun Hawker Park. We're Center. going to yeah. Bishun Hawker Park. Not Bishun. Ishun <laughs> or Nisun. Nisun Ishun oh. food. So we took a bus, uh, just a few stops along the way to this area in which we're in now where we have found a hawker centre, well Delaney has dubbed it as Singapore's cleanest hawker centre apparently uh, here in Yishun. We just rode past it and we're walking towards it now. Um, it's got a very Senja hawker centre sort of vibe so uh, it looks kind of new, it's got wooden slats uh, and we're just approaching now so we'll show you all when we get there. Tasty, uh, than the most ones that I had. Oh, wow, this is amazing! Thank you. 
What is that? Lamb shank, biryani. <laughs> A few of the stores here are closed. I don't know if it's just because it's Wednesday um, at half seven. Um, I don't know if they're maybe opening later or they've already been open. Um, yeah, maybe more for lunch time. But uh, there's lots of things open. There's quite long queues for things, which is a good thing. Um, Milo's ended up with like a Michelin awarded uh, Nasi Lemak. Aspen's kind of has also won some sort of awards and it looks really, really good. Junti has just like a whole lamb leg. Um, uh, yours is Food King, is it? Uh -huh, okay, so yeah, there's a few around here that have got awards, which is nice. Um, Delaney and I are getting fish soup. I think she's waiting in the queue still, so I'm going to go and do a round of drinks orders and get us some drinks. Wow. I've got some fish soup, double fish soup. So we've got double the soup, we've got the fried fried fish and the you know steamed fish to make it healthy. Dinner is delicious. I'm so happy I've got this. I've been totally into Indian food lately. Um, Delini and I were just talking about it because there was a, I shared a story on my Instagram of this uh, new Indian restaurant that I went to recently and ate so much. It was unbelievable and delicious. This is great as well. I'm having a wonderful, happy time eating food in a neighborhood that is totally fine. Uh, I don't feel like it's unsafe. We've had a wonderful time here in Yushin and we're going to keep enjoying our dinner. I really like this fish soup and what I like about it is that this is like the fried one but it's not got all soggy in the soup which is really nice the soup is really nice and fresh and I quite like the prices here we recently went to Pungal one and they've got lots of like awarded things and stuff but I found the prices just a bit too pricey and I guess when as us a family of four you end up spending like quite a lot more but I find the prices here whoops I just dropped my fish on the tree <laughs> yeah I really like this place and it's nice and breezy with the fans I'm, I'm a fan <laughs> sorry <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Yeah. This is definitely one of the cleanest talk centers in Singapore, I think. Yeah, I was just looking around. It is very clean. Lots of the stalls all have um, A ratings as well. Um, the stalls themselves do look very clean. I think this place was here since 2017. I'm looking at Delini. 2017? She's shrugging. Yeah, I think I read that online, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it does look very, very clean. Jonty asked me if I would eat off the floor. I still wouldn't. That's how you know. No. I still wouldn't eat off the floor. No, thank you. Saliva. So I found some things online. Yes. When you put in why is Yushun, yes. one thing that comes up is says, why is Yushun the most terrifying place to live in Singapore? Mm -hmm. um, it says every country has a weird spot where weird things happen. Everything feels like the twilight zone. So it says that there's some strange things that have happened in Yushun. Cat killings. I've heard about that, yeah. People with stun guns. Have, didn't, nope, haven't heard about that. Yeah. Rat get problems. <laughs> Um, rat problems, yes. I've seen two rats at my new place so far. <laughs> you flip, the HDB people know. <laughs> Drug syndicates. Um, I've seen policemen at night just at random areas in Yishun, but I'm not sure whether it's because of the drugs. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Do you feel safe walking around here at night? Yeah, no. mostly. Yeah, mostly I do, but I think there's some areas where it's just super dark and I'll just call my mom and just talk to her on the way yeah. home in general. Yeah, I think yeah. I would do that anywhere. anywhere yeah. Yeah. Someone who wants your children. Please, <laughs> help yourself. <laughs> um, numerous. <laughs> so all the information that I found there, it says cat killings. There was a spate in 2015. But I mean, we've all moved on from that now. Yeah. So that's that's also there's also cat killings and then cat killing singular. Just one. Just just the one. Just the one. Yeah, yeah. Police getting attacked with a oh. stun gun apparently. There was drug trafficking again in 2016. So yeah. I feel like things have moved on a lot. Yeah. Since then, um, it says here that in 2016 there was someone going around knocking on doors asking for children, and what? they've said the most terrifying Karanguni man you've ever heard of, which sounds quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one reason it just says that Yishun's really high population density yeah, yeah. than more Makes areas, sense. so I guess things are going to happen. And then there's like another side of Yishun that says some of it is cursed, and there's odd happenings and things. Um, what do you think about that? Um, I don't want to know about curse <laughs> and odd things happening. Don't deal good with ghosts, so uh, hopefully I sleep well tonight. <laughs> if not, it's Millie's fault. But I don't know if this is just like a few things have happened and now mm -hmm. media and like yeah. stories being passed on has now turned it into this Yishun's bad and dangerous yeah. and I think there was like an online things. campaign that was like make Yishun great again. 
America. America <laughs> and Asian. But they're doing amazing things. I think they're trying to, there's definitely a community feel. And then during the daytime, I, I've experienced just like people, really friendly aunties and uncles, and it's definitely not scary. So come, come visit. <laughs> Don't, don't listen, listen to, to online. online. Not everything you read is true. That's right. <laughs> Remember that aspect. <laughs> don't listen to the Nintendo Switch. It's all fake. <laughs> it's been a lovely day, Nishan. I feel like it's a lovely neighborhood. Yeah, I really enjoyed looking around your neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, food's been good. The reservoir is lovely to walk around. So I like that we've seen like little bits of it like the shopping mall yep mall. The shopping mall <laughs> and i love that there was just so many different shops in there that i haven't been to so i'd be keen to come back where are you cutting me off for what uh, mall <laughs> shopping mall mall no you guys are supposed to be my friends what is this i need new friends if you want to be my friend let me know <laughs> Yushin is amazing, <laughs> for sure. Like, I, we don't come here very often just because it's far away from where we are. I don't know if you've been uh, following Millie on Instagram, but she's had some tattoo removal laser stuff happening this week and Milo's just jabbed her arm. Um, but we are having a fantastic time and Yushin, we will definitely be back. I actually wanted to explore more of that first mall that you took us through. Oh, yeah, just nice. um, that was really, really, no, was that the first one? Oh, North, North Point. North Point, it was yeah. really nice. Yeah, it's like, huge big and it had like little corridors that yeah. we went in and the roof wasn't very high so everything felt cosy yeah. I like that so all good nice thanks for watching if you live in Yushu let us know some of your favorite spots and if you see Delini around say hi <laughs> bye, bye.